Hey fam, so we are back putting together a shirt for my son. One of the designs I had made. And I'm going to make it for him so he can advertise for me for free. I mean, hey, he gets a new cool shirt. I get free advertisement. And everyone wins. So let me talk to you guys a little bit about the transfer I'll be using. So we got these from Heat Transfer Warehouse. Um, wearable. They have several types. Um, blockade or other blocker, wearable, hat wear, I think promotional. Um, I'm not too sure on my memory. Anyway, as far as the different styles they have. But we ordered these a while back. As you can see, January 26, 2022. And this is what I'll be pressing today on um, this black shirt. It is a Bella Canvas. One of the softer brand t-shirts. As you can see, this is a size medium. For my son, he's in the 7th grade, so... He's getting to be a big boy. And we're going to wait until our heat press gets a little warmer. So, as you can see right there, we are at 242 degrees. I have it on 16 seconds. And it's going to be set at 310 once it gets to that temperature. So, I'm going to sit you guys right back down. And wait till that heats up. So I'm going to share while that's still warming up. I do use this for alignment. Since I'm kind of brand new into the t-shirt game. Um, you know, I went ahead and bought a few things from some subscribers that I normally watch. Which are like A-Dub Nation... Katrina's Graceful Creations. Um, I watch a lot of Defined by Alex, uh, Rich Khan, those guys on YouTube. So this is the T-Square. T-Square it. I got it from Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description below. And what it consists of is a... It's like two main pieces that you're going to use. It comes with a, a third one, but I've maybe used that one once on an order for um, my son, older son. He has a delivery business, and he wanted me to make some shirts for him. So with this, what I normally do is bring the shirt down a little bit. I'm going to put the T-square right about here at the end of the collar and that gives me my three finger distance from the neck collar to where i want the shirt to begin i mean the design to begin so there and then this right here goes into this um groove that's embedded inside of this the long rectangle or the long i'm sorry ruler and it slides in and it goes up and down just like this so depending on how far you need to go down to make sure your alignment is fine with your design that's what you'll do so I'm going to go ahead and place this here where I want it I'm going to grab my design from heat transfer warehouse this is a design I had created for my brand fashion for future so I'm going to set it right underneath there that goes down here. So I kind of want it right in the middle of the shirt. And you can also, what I've seen people do, is fold it in half. So you know where you have a center point at. I'm sorry, so you can see. So I make a little indention there. Open it back up. Then I place it underneath where... 
the edge of my where my three fingers would actually be. Okay, I hope you guys can see that. So I'm going to make sure my shirt is even on both sides. There. I kind of already pre-pressed the shirt to get the moisture out. Make sure that's lined up straight. You guys can see. Push that back up. In the center. That crease lines up right here in the center where that groove is for this to slide up and down. So that's there. Then I'm going to remove it. Looks nice. I don't have to put anything on top of it like a Teflon sheet because I already have my man-made do-it-yourself Teflon sheet using magnets on the four corners. So I can save kind of time when I'm pressing. So I'm going to move you guys over so you can kind of see what it looks like. Back up from a distance. I think this design is so cool. You can also get this on my website, fashionforfuture18.com. The 18 stands for the year that my husband and I got married all right so we are currently at let's look at our temperature 303 so we have about seven more degrees to go I'm going to pause it for a little bit and come back to you guys hold on okay welcome back so I want you want to make sure that you have a firm press when you're pressing this according to tra heat transfers warehouses um instructions it states right here pressure 40 psi so pounds per second and you want it firm so we're actually in between the press range 290 to 320 um and we're going to press it for 15 seconds total so i have 16 seconds because you know by the time you get the press down, you've wasted at least a second or two. So let's get going and see what happens. I'm going to make sure this is firm. I'm going to twist the top of my heat press. That gives me a little bit more pressure. Set you guys up right there. Hold on. I'm using my phone because I have not purchased a, as you say, vlogging camera. That need hasn't arose yet, so we're just waiting. Arose or risen, whichever way it's going to be. So I'm going to press this down. That's nice and firm. I had to put a little bit of arm strength. And I'm going to hold it because it, it is auto open. This is uh, one of the signature heat presses from Heat Press Nation. It's going to beat. There we go. So we're going to check this out. Let's see. There's a warm to cool peel, I believe. I will better check. Feel hot or warm immediately. So we're gonna see. This is there we go. There we go. Looks good. I'm gonna press it down one more time. Getting a little bit more of a permanent stain. 
do that for about five seconds. That comes up. There we go. That looks good, guys. Oh, that's hot, 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 hot. Yeah, look at that shirt. That is nice. Then I have a piece I'm going to do on the back. Right below the back of the neck. So I'm going to add this little piece with my brand name, Fashion for Future. Just a little extra design. I have a little small pillow to use to write, raise that up a little. And I got these in a set of like four or five, I think, different sizes from Amazon also. I can leave that description in the link below. I'm going to set that underneath there. And I'm going to release some of that pressure because it is risen a little bit. So you might have a hard time trying to close it properly. So you want to make sure you... You do this one you do about two fingers down and you're right there in the center that looks good make sure my pillows underneath it I'm gonna release some of this pressure I'm gonna press it down let's see what this does oh, that's good it's a good hold it's not gonna take too long make sure you hold your Auto open just in case you have one. I have to get a bigger table to hold this big bad boy on. This also, I'm gonna, there you go, real quick. Look at that. Nice. You can see all the details in there. Pretty cool. All right. okay so i think that wraps up this video guys i just want to show you how i pressed my design that i had made from heat transfer warehouse um you can look on their website they have um several styles you can order from um i think now they even have a way that you can they have um you can gang sheet also and I just like the quality. It's nice, smooth, not real papery feel. Feels good, and the quality will last. So this is my was my first order that I did with Heat Transfer Warehouse using Supercolor, and I have another one. So you stay tuned to that video, and we will press that shirt also. Thanks, guys. All right, see you guys later. Bye.